So JavaScript developers are always kind of bragging about loading spinners. I mean, you know, loading spinners are cool, loading spinners aren't cool sometimes, but then also, hey, we can load in certain elements and wait for the rest to be pulled from the server or wherever we're fetching that data, and then we can just kind of load it all in as it comes to us. Well, Livewire can already do that within Laravel, but Hassan just dropped a cool little tip right here um, where we can make it look like uh, SPA for every single request that we hit to the server. So I had to play around with this and I want to show you uh, just a little bit about what I found. So let's dive in. Within VS Code, I kind of added a new add list item and we'll kind of look into what this looks like within the, the actual uh, Laravel application, but I scaffolded it out a Breeze application, and then I added some different elements to it. For every single item that we add, we're basically just going to add a sleep to say, hey, this is an expensive database query. We're adding a new item to the list. Your database is probably going to respond within a couple, within a second, if not less. But um, here's what this kind of looks like. So um, this is without that in progress application. This is just out of the box Laravel live wire. Now we could obviously add a new um, loading spinner to this button to make this a little bit more um, applicable that, hey, something is happening behind the scenes. Because this is a wire click, we're not actually um, making a, a, a a request where we're making an Ajax request, but we're not actually reloading the page. We're not sending a post request. It's just kind of asking Laravel to, to uh, hit this add new item function. You can see here that um, we're wire click add new item. And then we're just uh, looping through all the links. So you can see here that this add new item, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't do anything. I mean, we could add a loading spinner to it, but it just is the button itself. It just adds a new one. You can see it takes three seconds to add a new one. Now, Livewire out of the box now, if Livewire v3 has wire um, wire navigate. So if I was to look at our uh, nav bar right here, you can see here that we, for every dashboard lazy route and non-lazy route, we have wire navigate appended. Now, what this means is um, anytime we make a request that takes longer than it's expected, Wire Navigate basically just adds that cool little loading spinner up to the top. And it does a couple other cool things, basically like trying to pull the information uh, on the click versus, versus the up click of the mouse and things like that. But this is a lazy route where we're actually loading the information until the, um, until the, until the actual full page loads. So let's go take a look at that lazy route real quick. Um, so this is the uh, lazy load option. We have a placeholder of loading and then we're just waiting. Um, and so what happens here is on the lazy view is we're just lazy loading this live wire component. Now I'm showing you all this to kind of show what this in progress thing that Hassan was talking about actually does, how, how it makes your life easier as a Laravel developer. So. We have the lazy route where um, every time we load this page, it it loads everything. This is that uh, the optimization that JavaScript developers love talking about, where we can load everything and wait for a specific expensive function to pull the data that we need, so that way we're not waiting for the whole page to load. The other option, just with wire navigate gives us, is kind of giving us this cool little loading spinner up here on the top. And once everything loaded, since this is not lazy loaded, we're just going to return the page after it's been all done. Same thing with this. We don't have any way of indicating, hey, this is going on behind the scenes. Of course, we could add that loading spinner to this button. But let's add the end progress. Let's. This is what you all came here for. So if I go to app.js, we're going to uncomment this, and let's go back. Now here's the cool part. Any single time we make any request to Livewire, this add new item button, the non-lazy route, and the lazy route still works, everything that happens is going to show that in progress navigator. It's, it's like giving you SPA functionality without changing anything in your code other than this, you know, eight lines of code. It's insane. Watch. Add new item. Look at we have this loading spinner at the top. Of course, we can still have a loading spinner on the button, but now 
we just get this functionality for free. It makes it feel like a modern application. And we still get that lazy loading functionality, but, but we get more indication behind the scenes that, hey, something is going on. Non-lazy route still does exactly the same because we're using Wire Navigate. So I just wanted to co show a quick, um, just a quick little, uh, you know, test, quick little demo of what Hassan's kind of showing, what what he uh, brought to light, if you want to say it that way. Uh, but I think it's it's one of those things that JavaScript developers love talking about this, and Laravel LiveWire has that functionality while still giving you all the tools that Laravel gives. You.